Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I'm a nurse with the Bolton Immunisation Team and I'm going to talk to you about the HPV vaccination. HPV, which stands for Human Papillomavirus, is a virus which is very common and is spread during sexual contact with someone who already has the virus. There are over 100 types of HPV. Most of the time people have no symptoms and the body clears the virus itself. When HPV doesn't leave the body, this is then known as persistent HPV and this can cause abnormal cells to develop. These abnormal cells can over time then develop into cancer. So as we've already said, HPV is very common and more than 70% of unvaccinated people will get it. It lives on the skin and around the genital area and there are many different types of HPV. As we've already said, most HPV infections don't cause symptoms, but some do not clear up and can lead to cancer. So what does it mean to have HPV? The virus increases the risk of developing some cancers later in life, such as cervical cancer, some mouth and throat cancers, some head and neck cancers, and also some cancers of the anus and the genital areas. So what is cancer? Cancer is a term used for diseases in which abnormal cells divide and can damage and invade other tissues. There are more than a hundred different types of cancer, with most named after the organ or type of cell in which they started. For example, cancer that began in the cervix is referred to as cervical cancer and cancer that begins in the throat is called throat cancer. Persistent HPV is linked to cancer of the vagina, cervix, penis, anus, throat and mouth. Hi, my name's Jess and I work with Katie as part of the Bolton Immunisations team. I'm now going to talk to you about the HPV vaccine. Most HPV vaccines are given um, in school during year eight or once you turn 12 years old. Around 8 million people have already received the vaccine worldwide and safe safety studies have included millions of people. 85 countries across the globe are vaccinating against HPV. And since giving the vaccine, we know that HPV infections in girls aged 16 to 21 years old have dropped by 86%. There has also been a 90% reduction in genital warts since the vaccine has been introduced in this age group, with the knock-on effect caused by herd immunity, reducing genital warts in boys by 70%. So what do you need to do? So you will receive a consent pack from school addressed to the parent or carer. You need to take this home and give this to your parent or guardian. In this consent pack will include a HPV vaccine leaflet that you can see along with a consent form. This consent form must be completed, signed and returned to school by the date on the letter, even if your parent or guardian say no to the vaccine. Late returns may result in delays in you getting your injection. The injection is offered in school by a qualified nurse, such as myself or Katie. The injection will be given in the muscle at the top of your arm by a very small needle. This will only take a few seconds. The needle is the same size needle that we actually give to newborn babies, so you really won't feel much at all. It's very important to sit still while the injection is being given. And as soon as you've had the injection, you can return straight back to class. So on the day that you're receiving your injection at school, there's a few things that you must try and remember. Try to wear short sleeves so it's easy access to the top of your arm. Make sure that you eat breakfast and drink regularly throughout the day. And if you are feeling nervous, make sure you tell the nurse. We see it a lot, so we can offer you lots of support with that. Most importantly, don't worry. It's a simple process. Try not to let other people scare you. After you've received the injection, you may experience some mild side effects, for example, pain, redness and swelling around the injection site. This is completely normal and usually passes really quickly. We will give you some information on how to look after yourself following the immunisation. For example, keeping well hydrated, moving your arm lots to keep that muscle moving. And you can take some paracetamol once you get home if you do feel like you get a little bit of a headache or a temperature. Try not to miss your injection, but if you do, the school nurse can arrange to come and see you in school at a later date. It's really important to get your HPV vaccine in order to protect you against cancers later in life. And in time, it is expected that the vaccine will save hundreds of lives every year in the UK. If you would like to receive more information regarding the vaccine, please have a read of the leaflet enclosing the consent pack from school. Or if you wish to speak to a nurse directly, you can call us on the number on screen. Thank you.